Welcome to Living Your Ideal Weight, episode three. So today's episode is about challenging your limits and don't let limit your challenges. So what I mean by this is, if you can see the video, we are attending Spartan this year and it's been a bit of a roller coaster. We attended last year, we took about 10, uh, 15 people fantastic event and I just I really want to get more people involved. So um, we're doing it on April 3rd. We have about 42 people going, which is amazing. If you join our group, there's about a $35 discount and we're just looking to be the biggest group, have the most fun, be the most supportive and really get people through the course. If you don't know what a Spartan is, it's an obstacle event. We're doing the 5Ks to start. We're going to build people up and get used to it. And basically, it's it's so good. It, you get out, you as a team, you maneuver obstacles. If you can't get over the obstacles, that's okay. You just give it a go, and it's it's really uplifting and inspirational. Um, in the past, we've tried to do things like Tough Mudder. We had about 63 people ready to go. We we're going to get a party bus. It was going to be epic. Uh, but then Mother Nature had a little bit of something else to do with it. The fires started. So that was about three years ago, I think, that one or four years ago. Um, but, yeah, super excited to help 42 people conquer their, like, beliefs and change their mind around what they're able to do and we've we've seen some of that happen you know we had some breakdowns on the course last time and i believe sometimes they're necessary so one of them was m she's my cousin she's an amazing trooper she got about halfway through and we thought we'd finished and there was another k and then it was just a little obstacle but she was just so overwhelmed and she just broke down and she's like, no, I can't do it. And the whole team was behind her. Like, you know, you can do it. And she wasn't embarrassed. She was more like uplifted. She got over the obstacle and that just really changed her outlook on life so much. So it's really important to step up and have these challenges in your life so that you know, you can do better in the future. And why that's so important right now. Well, I believe in the last two years, especially we've kind of been forced into comfort, right? So you might have been a little bit uncomfortable having and frustrated having to stay inside. But realistically, our house is one of the most comfortable things. You know, we set it up with all the niceties and we get takeaway delivered and it just it be, everything becomes so easy and comfortable. And I really believe that is going to hold people back a lot in life because you're not challenging yourself. And that's why the topic of today is so important. So we really need to break this comfort and set some challenges like Spartan or maybe it's even going for a walk. Maybe it's doing something you aren't doing each day. And why I believe that's important as well is, as Tom Bill, you says, one of my favorite mentors, the punch life to uh, punchline to life is how you feel about yourself when you're by yourself. Now, if you are not taking courageous steps, moving towards the person you want to be, you're not going to feel good about yourself. There's a whole neuroscience around it. I can go into that in other episodes. But what you really need to understand is progress is the key to happiness. If you're moving towards a target, if you can see progress, there's just something that lights people up. We see it in the gym all the time. I see it in my own life. If I can see that we're making steps towards where we want to be, you are just so much happier as a person. One of the things you do need to understand with that, though, is you have to make the choice. You have to make the decision. And waiting for the ideal moment is never going to come. It's about wait, like just making that decision. All right, I'm going to change. What can I change today? What can I set up to make sure that my progress forward is going to allow me to become the person I need to be because the choices you make, then the choices will make you. So it becomes a habit loop because those actions turn into behaviors and then those behaviors really make you as a person. We can kind of look at someone and understand what their day-to-day -day life is like based on their physique, right? Their habits, their behaviors, their choices every day compound and show the result on their body comes down to food choices as well, alcohol, smokes. You can just see what sort of life someone's had, even the stress, right? So someone could be relatively healthy in a sense, but if they're really stressed, you can see it on their body. Once you decide to take these actions or inactions, you just, they compound. Like each day, if you decide not to go to exercise over a year period, you're going to find that you're going to add weight. And those things limit you, not just in like physically. Well, they do, they slow you down. They make you feel like lethargic and then you're not as good at work and then you don't get the promotions and then you get angry and things don't move forward in your life. So making sure that you're constantly looking to evolve and move forward, you're going to leave behind that comfort and you're going to want to face challenges. You can actually rewire yourself so that you're looking for challenges and enjoy that as part of the progress. And it's, it's absolutely life-changing. So if you don't know where you want to be and you don't know who you want to be, I think you need to spend at least 30 minutes a day writing down who is my future self and why is that so important to me? If you don't know, if you need some inspiration, look at people in your life or people who aspirational people who are doing great things 
and not necessarily to become them, but you want to identify the traits that you like the most about them. And then how can you make sure your actions day to day are going to help you move towards those targets? All right. Um, so yeah, if you're looking to challenge your limits and you are in Sydney, Western Sydney, and want to join our team for Spartan, inbox us on social so we can get you started. We do need to know by next Wednesday. So we've got to pay um, to get the group registered. And then I can even invite you down for a workout. If you really want to get a little bit more fitter, we've got about four weeks until the event starts. We can jump you on a program and we're having so much fun. Saturday morning, I went down and saw the guys pumping it out. Uh, we modify the workouts if we need to, but they've been doing fantastic. And just to break it down a little bit, the, the course, you don't actually have to run 5Ks. It's like obstacle, 250 meters, obstacle. So there's plenty of time to recuperate. If you're not a good runner, that is okay. You can leverage the rest time while we're helping other people through the obstacles. But if that is too much for you and you're like, Josh Spartan's way too out of my leg, we'll start something else today. Go for a walk, organize your food, something small that's going to help you move forward with your life. Otherwise, guys, don't forget to follow us on socials. Comment below if that's resonated with you today um, or tag someone else who you think would be suitable for Spartan or who needs to start doing something to improve their day-to-day -day and escape that comfort zone. And remember, you become what you think, so think fit.